Hello everyone. Here I am. Hello everyone and welcome. A new video about true crime is here. <laughs> so I set up a place here. I hope it's going to be okay. And we can start. <laughs> so I have written down the story. I don't want to forget about anything. So <laughs> Uh, sometimes I will check it, so I hope you are okay with it, because I don't remember everything. <laughs> Today's story is about um, Anatoly Moskvin. I don't know if you heard about him or not, but it's very, <laughs> really interesting story. As you may be uh, noticed uh, from this name, uh, this uh, true crime happened in Russia. So Anatoly Moskvin was born at 1st September 1966 in the Russia. So he's Russian philologist and historian. He's very gifted. He uh, speak... I don't know, I'm sorry. I don't know how to sit here. <laughs> so he speak 13 languages like 13 languages. <laughs> uh, I don't know anyone who speaks 13 languages and it's crazy. Like, uh, I don't know how anyone can be that gifted <laughs> because it's it must be really, really hard. Okay, so he, he speaks 13 languages. And he wrote several books and documents and he wrote into the newspapers and he was an expert for a local cemeteries. Yeah, cemeteries. Remember that. <laughs> he was studying uh, types of soil. He was kind of expert for uh, soil uh, on the cemeteries, which is <laughs> weird. But the soil, I think, it should be the same as the cemeteries as it's everywhere else, right? So uh, he was sp he spent a lot of time on the cemeteries, uh, and that's weird. <laughs> like uh, he was studying the soil and everything, but uh, now it's going to be a little bit something. So according to the doctors, he suffered. And let me uh, read it. He suffers from paranoid schizophrenia. Yeah, and uh, let me say a little note. A lot of those killers and everyone who do these horrible crimes usually, or it's a highly like high percent of these people have some mental illness. Just a little note. So, and now something I don't want to love, something from the newspapers, okay? So, it's an article from uh, a newspaper. Listen carefully. He dug up the bodies of the young Muslim girls from graves, desecrated graves in the capital Moscow and surroundings. So yes, he really dig girls out of the graves. And now you maybe are wondering why. And it's um, pretty scary. You may be wondering why someone dig um, girls, only girls, from the graves. 
So let me tell you, uh, because he made dolls from these bodies, and that's totally insane. Like, okay, someone collecting the dolls, that's totally fine. Well, we all have some something what we like to collect, right? Like, I like candles, so I have a lot of candles. Uh, someone collecting dolls, but it's a dolls, and these dolls uh, were made from the dead bodies of the girls, and that's scary. So, like, imagine the life-size doll. That's something what you don't want to have in your home. So, he slept on the graves and he talked to death. Like, he talked to dead girls and I don't know, they imagine like how I see someone to sleep on a lot of graves, like not one, but several, and talk, talk with them. That's weird. And I would be scary. <laughs> so what's interesting, he talked with the girls, those who wanted, he bring them home, to his home, because they wanted to. So because he studied the soil, he knew the different types of it. He, he knew the different types of soil. And what's interesting, he knew in which soil the body would decompose. You hear it right, decompose. And in which soil would be mummified or mummy, mummies, mummified. You know what I mean, like a mummy, like mummies, not like a mom, but <laughs> mummy, like a, you, you, I think you understand. In the cemeteries, he made um, hiding places. Nobody ever find it. So he made a uh, like hiding place or places where uh, he put the bodies to dry. So, and after the bodies was dry, he took them home and then it started. Now it's the right time to ask the question. Didn't nobody notice like it's a guy who sleeping on the graves, talk with the girls and then steal it from the graves? No, nobody noticed. It's probably because he did it at night so no one was there. And I don't know if it was there a um, like night security, I didn't find this information. Well, but once he was checked by police because they noticed uh, someone is hanging out there and not on one grave, like when you go to visit someone, but on the whole cemetery, they check on him, but he provide his expertise and the police left. So, yeah, I was like, okay, I'm an expert and I'm just studying the soil and everything. So, yeah, the police was okay and left. So, after drying the bodies and bring them home, he wrapped around uh, legs and arms with blankets and everything what he found, like fabric and he stuffed the body from the inside. He just put stuff inside the body that it looks like... Um, then it's not look uh, empty, you know. It, it's just stuffed the bodies. He made them into the dolls in various um, ways in an attempt to give them a new body. Like the to give the dead girls new, better, comfortable body. The, the physical bodies were, of course, ugly, like it's a dead body. So he wanted to make the girls happy, so that's why he made a new bodies for them. Sometimes he added, um, like it's a, it was like a mask from from wax, and it was decorated with a nail polish, so it looked like a painted face. 
and believe me it didn't look very nice it was more like a horror doll for me it was very scary because you can find on the internet uh, photos of the of the dolls and that's scary and he dressed these dolls into the dresses, blouses and skirt. It was like real dolls uh, with clothes and everything. And uh, you probably know the dolls what has the speakers in the chest. So that's what he did. I don't know if was there any like voices, what they uh, said or something. What I found was that he just put speakers in their chests. So he had the dolls arranged in, in, the, in the home, uh, in the living room and in, in uh, everywhere. But beware, he didn't live uh, alone. He lived with his parents. And no, they didn't notice. It's not real dolls. And I think they didn't even think about it. He lived with his parents because he had no social lives, like almost no friends, no, no wife, no a girlfriend. So uh, he was alone and girls were not interested much about him. I don't know, he, was, he, he just had no social life and he was better with the dead. I think than the living. So as I said, the parents <clears throat> didn't notice anything at all. They weren't at home much, but they were there with all those dolls. Can you imagine that? Like, oh my god. Ah, I think they didn't even wonder like why their adult son has full home with the dolls, life-size dolls. They, I think they didn't even maybe wonder like why and what's happening. So when he stole the girls from the graves, he wrote down the dates of birth of every one of the girls he stole from the grave and celebrated a birthday with those dolls. So they celebrated a birthday like they watched TV, listened to music, he sang them and uh, talked to them. It is scary. And I found a two different informations and it's about the amount of the bodies. And that's uh, somewhere it's written he had 26 and someone adds written the uh, he had 29 dolls. Uh, I'm not sure which one is, uh, which information is true, that's why I'm mentioning both of them. So, he was arrested in 2011 and at the time he was 45 years old. It was then revealed that he have been collecting bodies since year 2000. Oh my god. So it's 11 years and in total he destroyed 150 graves. That's insane. He collected uh, bodies between 2 years old and 15 years old. The investigators found a lot of evidence in the apartment he left with the parents. But he didn't go to the prison. He was sent to psychiatric hospital because I think it was because of the schizophrenia. If I'm saying it right, paranoid schizophrenia. So that's why he was sent into the psychiatric hospital instead of uh, prison. So every year uh, they do assessments on him and every year they extend his stay there. Doctors saying this man won't get better. It's in his head. 
the doctors say. So if they send him into the prison like for 25 years, when they release him after 25 years, he will be the same and he will do it because it's in his head. So an interesting fact from his childhood, doctors think that could have influenced his perception of death. It was when he was still the schoolboy and now listen carefully. He witnessed a funeral. It was funeral of a 11 years old girl uh, that she passed away. He claimed that uh, the people there forced him to kiss the dead girl. Oh my god, that would be shocking and stressing even for me when I'm almost 30 years old. <sighs> I don't know, for a little boy it must be like thousand times worse. They forced him to kiss the girl's forehead and now what he said. The adult was pushing my face down on the girl's waxy forehead and I couldn't do anything. Just kissed her uh, like they told me to. That's horrible. Like, oh my god. Like, I'm not, uh, I'm not on his side, you don't think about it, I'm just saying it's horrible. He does not regret his actions and even demand and now listen again. He demands that the dolls be returned to him after his release. And he said to the parents of the children he stole. And now what he said. You abandoned your children. You left them alone in the cold and darkness. But I brought them back and warmed them up. That's... Oh my god, they were dead. Of course they put the, the, the children in the grave when, when they're dead. Like you will not keep your dead children to your home. You will not bring them home and live with them. That's, that's why there are cemeteries and funerals. And he was aware he committed a crime. But saving the girls was more important than a law for him. They sent him into the psychiatry clinic, but he even he's aware of his crimes. So he know it's it's not normal and he should not doing this. That's weird. So he know he know it's not right. And still he is in psychiatry clinic or hospital not in prison. I found also information that he had a deep desire to have a daughter. So maybe that's also the reason and he didn't want to be alone. He had no girlfriend, no wife, so of course no kids. He had a strong desire to have a daughter, so he stole and not only one, but 29 or, 29 or 26. Yeah, that's all what I have written down. <laughs> that's, that's horrible. Like, imagine living room or a bedroom or anything like it, full of life-size dolls. It was, it was kids between age 2 and 15. So a um, 15 year old kid is pretty tall, right? So, oh my god, that's horrible. Like, my hair on the hand is standing up. It's horrible and... I don't know, maybe if the parents would react on this, like he collected the, the bodies for 11 years. So it's not like when he went to the cemetery, stole almost 30 kids and then made a dose. He was doing it 11 years. So the parents should notice, I think, and maybe they could do something with it. But what's plus, nobody was killed in this uh, story, so that's good. That's relief. Relief. Sorry. That's relief. And yeah, that's all from me. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this case. Like, he's still alive. He, he's not dead. 
as I said, every year he wants to go out from the hospital and every year they extend his stay there, which is good. What's shocking also for me, he demands like, when you release me, I want all my dolls uh, returned back to me. And that's horrible, like, he demands it to return the dolls to him back, it's, it's crazy. It's a little bit similar as the story what we have uh, before my first video. It was also weird. Uh, and yeah, that's all. Uh, I was pretty shocked when I was making this story for you, when I write it down and also when I heard about this for the first time. I was, I was shocked uh, how someone can do that. Okay, so... Uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to uh, subscribe this channel. Then you will see every my new video. Like and comment. Also, let me know how you like today's uh, story. If you like uh, how I styled the room for this video. See you next time. Thank you so much for your attention. And see you next time. Have a good day. Take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye.